My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to adjust shapes in Illustrator. So using the shape tool in Illustrator is, can be quite a bit of fun because of the options that come along with it. So I'm just going to show you where the shape tool sits, and it's right below the text tool, or the type tool. And when you hold down um, the shape tool, you've got a series of usable shapes. Um, and the first one being the rectangle tool. And I'll just kind of give you an idea for um, what you can do with these. So I'm actually going to give this a solid color and also do a star. Now, something to remember about the star tool is the ability to add sides. Um, and the way that I'm doing this is just by clicking the up and down arrows on my keyboard. And it can add a bunch of different sides, but I'm just going to keep five. Now, when using shapes, um, you can definitely have more than just color. You can actually add patterns and, and stroke, stroke to it, stroke weight, stroke colors. Um, so this, what I'm doing right now is trying to add a stroke to it, but it's not letting me. There we go. And so you see now I have a, a line around my star. I'm going to do the same with my square. And adding patterns to it uh, is just as easy. All you do is, instead of hitting your color here, up in the top left, you've got these two little buttons. And these are going to help you add co uh, color or patterns. So sorry, I'm just going to get rid of that. So I'm going to go over down into the left and hold down the swatch libraries. And this is going to come up with a whole different library of swatches, colors, patterns. Go to patterns if you want a pattern. And you can do decorative, basic graphics, nature, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually do some animal skin ones. And then that'll open up your, oops, your swatches over here, and it'll pop up. So you can just go ahead and click one, and it'll add the color or the swatch to it. Um, so then modifying shapes is pretty simple. If you just hold down shift, and as you see the uh, little, oops, lost my page. Um, if you can see when I've selected it, that little arrow shows up, and that just means I can adjust the size. And if you hold shift, it'll adjust um, flushly, I guess you could say. And you can even uh, combine shapes using the pathfinder. And you can also group shapes together. So suppose you're making a document and you want this particular shape to stick together. Because if you notice, you know, I can move it and it, part of it won't move. So if you just select all of it, and you go to Object, Group, or Command G, it'll make this one object so that you can move it together. And that is how you define shapes in Illustrator. My name is Alex, and thank you.